Hey guys, it's Kaler. Welcome to the YouTube channel. So about a year and a half ago, I made a video called Create a Working Sidebar Menu in Adobe XD. That is the most popular video to date on my channel. And it was teaching you guys how to create a working sidebar menu that overlaid on top of your current design because we had no overlay capabilities. So in that video, I showed you a quick workaround to actually make it appear like that functionality was in Adobe XD. But now, thanks to the latest update in Adobe XD, we have this capability and today's tutorial, we're gonna be creating an overlay effect, which you can use for any types of app and website design. Hope you guys are excited. Let's head over to Adobe XD and get started. All right, so here I have a project that I've been working on on the channel and I've simply just added an overlay artboard and a sidebar. This is just a rectangle with a lowered opacity so that we can see it as an overlay. Same thing goes for the sidebar. This one's gonna be coming in from the left side. So what you want to do is select the hamburger menu and just drag a line like normal. First, we'll do the overlay. So we'll drag and drop there. And now we can select overlay and you'll notice that it's going to fill the entire artboard so we don't have to drag this into position and that's it so now we can select play and our live preview pops up we can select this and we can click anywhere on the screen and it will close our overlay now let's say we want to add some functionality into the overlay so let's say we want to select weight when we're in the overlay so we'll drag that to the weight artboard and we'll just leave that as a normal transition. So when I live preview, we select the hamburger menu and then we can select weight and we switch screens. Now we can also apply this overlay to multiple artboards. So we'll go ahead and apply that to weight. We'll drag that over and set that as an overlay. So we can head back, we'll select nutrition and then link that to the nutrition page and leave that as a normal transition. So now we should be able to freely go back and forth between the nutrition and weight page using our overlay menu. Just like that. Next, let's set up our sidebar. So I'm quickly going to remove the overlay. So let's select the hamburger menu and just remove the line. So now we wanna set up our sidebar. Same thing goes. We can select the hamburger menu and drag it to the sidebar. Select overlay. And now you'll see our green box is no longer filling up the artboard because this sidebar is not the same size so we could just drag this to the side since we want it to come in from that side we can click the arrow to pull up the drop down again and we want this to slide to the right which is going to pull it in from the left side we want to have that same functionality so we'll choose nutrition and drag it to the nutrition page making sure that's on a transition and same thing for weight drag that to its page and we'll also link up the hamburger menu on the weight page the same way we did, making sure it's on the left side and it's going to slide in right. When I select nutrition or weight, I wanna make sure that this is going to dissolve out. So I have my transition on both of those set to dissolve. So now when we select live preview, this time we're gonna have our sidebar come in. We're gonna select our page and then it dissolves out and we can go back and forth. So like that, we actually have a working overlay in Adobe XD. Adobe XD is making a lot of improvements recently, and I'm looking forward to future updates. I hope you guys are excited as well. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more ER-related content, and as always, have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next one.